exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here in the World of Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Milwaukee Brewers Legends Fantasy Draft Series here on MLB The Show 22. That is right, we are back and we continue on in the month of June and any baseball fan knows or any just sports fan in general knows that in the month of June in the MLB season, that's the MLB Draft. Now, Unlike in the Chicago Cougars series, the MLB draft in my Legends Fantasy Draft series is not as important, I guess you could say. Now, I'm not saying that we're just going to go past it and not care about it. We're still going to take our time and, and try and draft the best possible prospects, but we're not going to be drafting the best possible prospects for our team, necessarily. We're going to be drafting the best possible prospects for potential trades. That's what we're going to be doing in the Legend series. That's what the Legend series is about when it comes of, in terms of drafting, at least in baseball. Because if you get guys with good potential, then it makes it a little bit easier down the road, three, four years down the road, when you want to trade for a Legend, it makes it a little bit easier to throw in a guy with B potential or a guy with A potential into a trade that entices the team you're trying to trade with into giving you the said legend. So that's what the MLB draft in a Legends Fantasy Draft series is all about, at least on my series. Now, in the Cougars series, it's a lot different. You got to try and build up from the ground up in the farm system, draft all the best players. Like, like it, it's more in-depth in the Cougars. So there's a little bit something for everybody here. There's there's something with the Legends, and there's something with the, the farm system and building from within. So... I hope you guys are excited. If you are, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. We've got some more Legends Fantasy Draft action for you guys on deck. Let's get into it. So here we are. We are at June 1st. This is where we left it off in the last episode. We are taking on, well, we are in a series with the Cubs, one and one in the series right now. I'm not sure if the Cubs game is what we are going to be playing. I haven't really decided yet. I just know that the draft is in this, is in this day, so... I, we're probably not going to play the game against the Cubs. I'm thinking we play a road game, maybe against the Reds or the Mets or somewhere in this middle of the month of June kind of action. We could play a home game against the Phillies on the 9th, which is my birthday. That would be pretty cool. But I think we want to play a road game. I think we've had... Have we had more episodes at home? I can't remember exactly how many games we've played at home. I know we played the Jackie Robinson game on the 15th. That was against Seattle, or against Seattle, against St. Louis, and we lost that game 10-3, uh, to 3 actually. And that was at home. We played opening day against Arizona, and I'm pretty sure that was at home. So, who did we play in May? We played somebody in May. I don't recognize any of these games. Team. Did we play the Reds? We played the I think we played the Reds already in yeah We played on the road in Great American Ballpark Clayton Kershaw versus Yohan Santana. That's right We lost that game too. We've been on a little bit of a leading streak and play games I'm pretty sure that's the game that we played so it's fitting that we play another road game probably against the Mets now that I think about it because we've already played the Reds on the road So I think we'll play one of these three games against the New York Mets in uh, it's not City Field anymore I don't know what their home ballpark is at this point. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. But it is time for the draft. So we can uh, simulate through that and go to the MLB draft. Now, we have a low pick because the Brewers were a very, very good team last year in real life. So we have the 27th pick in the draft. So we are not going to get a superstar player. But we can still get somebody pretty good, I would hope. There's no blue chip prospects left. All the 80 potential guys are not scouted, but we do have a couple guys that are on their way to being scouted. A starting pitcher who could be pretty good for us. His estimated time is 2026. It looks like he throws some decent stuff. He's got some good stamina. 
he could be okay, but his potential is only 65, and he's pretty well ac or well scouted, so he's probably not going to get any better than that. This guy, on the other hand, this Richie Mitchell guy, he's 2025. 20, he's got a four seamer that goes 93, and he's pretty well. He's over half scouted, and he's at a 75 potential, so that could be a pretty good first pickup for us. There is an 80 overall guy he here. This Ahmad Elise or Elis. However you say his name, he is an 80 potential guy, and he's about halfway scouted. I'd say that's a little bit under halfway, just a small fraction, but he does throw some gas. He's got a 99 four-seamer. I would risk... We've also got this guy, uh, Her Geraldo Pena, or Geraldo Pena. I don't, I don't know if it's Geraldo or Geraldo. Uh, there could be a hard G. But there's a couple starting pitchers here that I'm intrigued by. I'm certainly intrigued by this Ahmad Ali's guy, so I'm gonna bank on the fact that he doesn't get taken to our next pick. I could actually check and see what our next pick is. Is it 27 again? No, it's 23 the next round. So we're gonna say that Ahmad Ali's does not get taken in this first round. That's what we're gonna bank on, okay? That's what we're gonna bank on, that he doesn't get taken. And we're gonna take somebody else who is probably, I don't want to keep taking starting, I don't want to just take a bunch of starting pitchers because I want to have more range, oh, I don't want to draft, I want to look at him, uh, Anthony Chavez, or Chavez, no, it's probably Chavez because he's born in New Jersey, uh, not the greatest player, what about this Rob Gutierrez? doesn't really hit the ball that crazy who's who's like a really really good power guy so we got a couple guys this third baseman but he's not very well scouted but he does have some good and he's got a great beard if he's still there we could go for him this ken o ojeda o oyeda i don't know how to pronounce his name but he hits the ball pretty hard got some good power on it i think with our first pick we are going to take Ooh, this guy's got some good speed and he's pretty scouted, pretty well scouted. Uh, it's probably between, it's probably between Anthony Chavez and George uh, Cabral, Cabral. Probably between you two. And since he he is the hi higher potential, uh, <clears throat> I don't know because this guy could be good. Let's take this guy. He's fast. He could be good. George Cabral's our first pick. Now we gotta watch out. For Ahmad, is he gonna go? Ahmad stays. We can get Ahmad. Let's go. That's big, actually. Ahmad Aliz is still here, so I will take him. But is that third baseman that's power is gone? Is he already gone? No, he's still here. Okay, so maybe people don't really know about him yet. But I really, really want to take this Ahmad Aliz guy. I'm hoping that it's a, a good thing that I took him. I don't even know. Uh, the third base. Oh, there he goes. Chad Grace was his name. He got taken. So. I was watching out for him. He goes, this guy, hello, uh, Geraldo, P oh, we looked at this guy, didn't we? Geraldo Pena, yeah, we definitely looked at, I'm gonna say it's Geraldo, but we're, he's already 25, the, uh, and this guy's 30? Oh, age 18, oh, it's back, okay, I was gonna, I was gonna say, how is he 30 years older? It just didn't, it got glitched a little bit. Let's take this Geraldo Pena guy, another starting pitcher, I was looking at him from the start, so we might as well take him. So we've got two starting pitchers and a third, uh, left left fielder, I should say. And now we don't have anybody else scouted, so let's just go based purely on stats that we don't know anything about. Evan Thomas or Thompson, he's got a lot of good power. Let's take him. He's a first baseman. He could end up being good for us. Who knows? Or those stats could be completely wrong, and we completely failed on the pick. That's a very good possibility. Now let's go for somebody who is really, really fast. They're a super fast guy. This Boyd Anaya guy. But he doesn't have very good potential. So we're going to stick with guys that have good potential. Although, we are dealing with guys that we have no idea what they're actually looking like. Uh, this second baseman seems pretty good. So we'll take a second baseman just to give us a little bit more depth uh, and variety in position. And let's see. There's still an 80 potential guy, but most likely he's not going to be 80 potential. So this Tim Yamamoto, I like the potential that he has. He's got really good fielding for a third baseman. Let's take him. This could be the last round, and it is the last round. Now, I don't think we did a very good job in the draft, but let's find out how we did. 
Okay, so our first pick, George Cabral, was a little bit of a miss, although he is super fast. He's got 95 durability, 95 steel, 76 speed. Okay, C potential, but then we've got Ahmad Aliz, who was our second pick, and he turns out to be something. He's got 99 velocity with B potential. This guy, Gerardo Pena, also turned out to be pretty good. They kind of are the same player, it looks like, uh, although they're lefty, lefty, righty, righty. And then Evan Thomas, or why do I keep saying that? Thompson turns out to not be the greatest, although he's got he's got really good content, really good power for a guy with 77 potential. Then you got uh, Zapita, the second baseman. He was the guy that had really, really good speed. Wasn't no, it must have been fielding. I don't even know. And then this guy, Tim, oh, Tim Yamato, uh, or Yamamoto. He's got the good stuff. Actually, he doesn't really look that good at all. He's going to be a... Just, we're gonna let him walk he's not he's not that great so we'll sign our first pick because I feel like we have to then we'll sign these two guys obviously uh, we'll bring in everybody but that Tim Yamamoto guy I feel bad for him but he's just not that great and then we go to our next our next game we've got Jackie Robinson as a starter in the all-star game so far we're actually not too far away from the all-star game about a month away one episode this episode will be the last one. And now we get to the New York Mets. We're seven games up on the Reds, who are second in the uh, the NL Central, which is good. Now, are we going to take on Pablo Lopez, Justin Verlander, or Taiwan Walker? We haven't used Matty Bum Bum yet, or Dontra Willis. So, we've used Jack Flaherty. I, hmm. Do I want to go up against Pablo Lopez? Do I want to go up against Justin Verlander? That's a very, very interesting question. I think I want to use Madison Bumgarner, right? Do I want to use Madison Bumgarner? Or do I want to use Justin Verland? Or do I want to use Dontrell Willis? You know what? I kind of want to use Dontrell Willis now that I think about it. So let's simulate this first game of the series. We won 9-1. to one. Bumgarner is 9-2 and two on the year. He is having a crazy day. And remember, um, if you guys watched the Yankee series last season, the ERAs in... A Legends Face Jeff series are always going to be skewed a little bit higher. That's just because of the level of talent that we have in the league at this point with Legends filtered in and with actual really good MLB players. So that's why ERAs are tended to be skewed a little bit higher. So like if this was a normal league and you had a 99 overall pitcher like Randy Johnson is, you probably have a sub one or a 1.0 something ERA with a, a pitcher like that but since it's such a, a competitive and very high overall league a 99 overall pitcher is gonna have a 3 ERA I mean Clayton Kershaw's even got it we've got some really good uh, ERAs with some really good uh, win-loss records now Dontra Willis 5.47 ERA 4-4 four and four. we're gonna look to get that down a little bit in terms of our lineup, Ozzy Smith hitting 269, 17 home runs for Mike Trout, 313 average. David Ortiz has 23. Ken Griffey Jr. has 18, 15 for Albert Pujols, 13 for John Carlo, don't call me Mike Stanton. Josh Donaldson hasn't really produced that much. We might look for a new third baseman next season. Salvador Perez has 14 home runs and Jackie Robinson, 10 home runs hitting 328. So we're doing pretty good in the starters. Uh, Nelson Cruz hasn't really got a ton of time to play, but when he has, he's done okay, I guess. If we take a look quickly at the trade block, is there anybody here at third base that could be a replacement for Josh Donaldson? No, there's nobody at third base. So if we are going to trade Josh Donaldson, it would be a trade that we have to make. Which is not something that I'm opposed to, but it would have to be something we have to make. But we are going to take on the New York Mets in New York. We're going to rock the original Brewers home jersey because we haven't rocked them at all. And the Mets will rock their black alternate homes just because I like those jerseys a lot. So let's get into the game. I hope you guys do on, go on to enjoy. It is City Field. What did I think it was? What was their old stadium called now? Shea Stadium. Shea Stadium is what their old uh, ballpark was called, and it went to City Field. I got it mixed up. Okay, so I was correct that it was City Field. 
So we're going to City Field against the Mets. I hope you guys do go and enjoy. If you do, smash that like button, subscribe channel, join the Juice Club. Let's get into some Legends Face Draft baseball action, baby. Welcome from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York. We got a bit of a wet one coming at you. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the New York Mets. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport, Tony Gwynn. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. So just about set now and towing the slab in this one, Justin Verlander. And as usual with him singing, I think we can expect plenty of strikeouts. Yeah, Boogie's racked up over 3,000 strikeouts in his career, so expect to see more of the same in this one. So just about set. Up. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You know how this series works. We start with the first three innings of baseball as we're first pitch swinging here in City Field and Ozzie Smith gets on base first pitch of the game we play the first three innings of baseball to, so you guys can see the opposing teams line up and get a, a feel for who they have and then we uh then i skip to when anything interesting happens like this where mike trout sends ozzy smith to third base with a nice single and then i skip to when good things happen like a home run or we score a run or something like that or they score a run or something uh and then we play the full ninth inning top and not uh top and bottom so you know how the series works, and we're just swinging out like crazy right now. I don't know what's going on, but the first three pitches were all hits, and we get a run just like that. I'm on my game today. I did play some MLB The Show earlier today, so uh, I guess you could say I'm on my game a little bit. I'm first pitch swinging like crazy. I'm on I'm top of things. I'm juiced. I'm juiced, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ready to go. I am my namesake today. Oh, that was a... I pulled the PCI a little bit too low on that one. He gets it, and it's first out of the game. That's okay. Oh, we've got the machine at the plate now. 18 doubles. 18 doubles on the year for Albert Pujols. I've yet to hit a home run with him in this series, and I may have just done it. No, I didn't. Okay. I thought I did. It felt pretty good. I've yet to hit a home run with him in this series. I'm going to do it. It will happen. <laughs> it will happen. And now we've got Giancarlo. Don't call me Mike Stanton at the plate. Can we get another run in? We've got two guys on base. And Giancarlo Stanton sends that one into left field. I'm sending Trout home. He's got it clean. He would have been there if it was on target. And just like that, the Brewers take an early two run lead here in new york and now we got a Juni suarez he's playing for josh donaldson i decided to shake things up oh my word mother mary how did i miss that that was right down main street so was that one and i pulled the pci low okay i got this i got this i got this i got this not swinging at that Justin Verlander, we, we've rocked him early here. His confidence is, is uh, lower than it started with, and he is struggling here on first inning. Come on, AUNEO. I'm swinging for the fences with, with Suarez, man. I am going for broke. Which may not be the best idea. Get down. Get down, and I'm sending him. Oh, okay, so it doesn't get down. But we do get two runs in the top of the first, so I'll take that. Tony Gwynn up to the plate. We got Dontrell Willis. Is he going to have his big leg kick? He is. All right. And their first pitch swinging too. Tony Gwynn. Foul. Just foul ball. That would have been nasty if that would have been fair. Here comes Willis. 0-1. Oh, cutter. Stanton's right on it. And that's going to be one out. Big time pitch from 
Down Charles Willis. We got to lower that ERA. It's in the fives. We got to drop it down. Juan Pierre, starting center fielder. He made two big plays to get them out of the inning in the first half. Reds lost to the Diamondbacks. That's big because if we win, we extend our lead even bigger to eight games. 0-2 counts. He chips that foul on the changeup. Let's go curveball and see if he goes fishing for it. He will hit it, and Ozzie Smith, the wizard, one of the best fielders of all time, regardless of position, he's there. And it's Babe Ruth, 24 home runs, 69 RBIs. Nice. Okay. This is uh, hitter Babe Ruth, not pitcher Babe Ruth. I'm pretty sure. There's two versions of him. There's a, a hitter Babe Ruth, and there's a pitcher Babe Ruth. 1-1 one, one count to the Babe. That wimpy deer. He's going to hit that, ground it to Ozzie Smith, and that's a 1-2-3 first for Dontrell Willis. And we go to the second. Salvi Perez up to the plate. Start this inning. 2021 Silver Slugger for catchers. Come on, Justin. You're going to have to do a little bit better than that if you want me to get struck out or get out of the inning in general. Too early. I was, I can agree with that. I was very early on that. But I'm not early on that one. Good timing. Juan Pierre is there, but Salvi wasn't going to anyway. So another inning where we get our first, our leadoff hitter up to the plate and he gets on base. I like this run. And now it's Jackie, number 42. He's going to set. I just can't hit with Jackie Robinson. That's like three games now that we've played. Though I can't hit Jay. Maybe four games. I don't even know. But I can't hit with Jackie Robinson. Ozzy Smith. First pitch swinging again with Ozzy. This time I was early and it's going to be foul. There's not many people here in City Field for a rainy night game, Brewers and Mets. I can't blame them. Especially when their team's already down 0 2 in the second inning. Can we get on base? That's going to be a ground out, double play, and the inning is over. Ozzy almost beat it out, but not close enough. Ooh, Paul Canerco. Okay. Paul Canerco, and he's going to first pitch swing to center field. Trout is underneath it, and Trout will bring it in. All right. I didn't know they had Paul Canerco. That's pretty cool. And they got J.D. Martinez. A lot of power guys in this lineup for the uh, the New York Mets. They probably went with a more hitter-friendly lineup than we did. I mean, we have some power. Don't get me wrong. We got a lot of power. I'm pretty sure everybody in our lineup can hit 30 home runs in a season if necessary. 0-2 count. And that's going to be a ground out foul. Suarez was there. He would have been out. Come on, Dontrell. The 0-2. The payoff pitch. Curveball. Sent to right field, but Griffey's underneath it. The kid's not letting that go anywhere. There is a deep corner in that outfield that I'd, I'm afraid of. Evan Longoria. Is this the old Evan Longoria? This might be the prime Evan Longoria. I think there's two Evan Longorias. I'm guessing this is the prime one. Change up. That's going to go to Jackie, and that's a quick second inning as well. We are flying through this game. The big fish, Mike Trout, up to the plate. Lead-off hitter of the third inning. First pitch swinging. Probably shouldn't have. I'm bad at that. I always first pitch swing for some reason. And that's a one pitch, one out. Ooh. We might be getting a weather delay, a rain delay. We might be getting a rain delay in this game. Come on, Big Poppy. I need to pop one with you. Oh, that's going to drop, but it will not. Oh, it's... Oh! It wasn't going to drop, but it bounced off JD's glove. Why is JD playing left? Shouldn't he play, be playing right? I don't know. But that wasn't going to drop. That was going to get caught if JD actually would have caught it and I committed the error. Oh, baby. We utilize the deep right field area. Get on your horse, Griffey. And that's a double. Two runners on. 
One out, 14th double, and the machine steps into the box. I need a big boy hit from you. That's going to be a 1-0 oh, oh count. Come on, Pujols. I know you got it in you. I drafted you for a reason. Or did I trade for you? I can't remember. I know I got you for a reason. I was sitting fastball all day on that, and he threw a change up. He got me. Come on, Pujols. I need you. Okay, okay, fouled it off. 15 homers, 55 RBIs in the season, 314 average. You can raise it here, Pujols. You can raise it here. He does raise it. That's going to be a two-run single for Albert Pujols. And that's a 4-0 lead. I'm feeling good. It's skyline time. John Carlos standing to the plate now. And he can certainly let one loose if given the opportunity. One of the most powerful men in all of baseball. And he's just going to bloop one down into right field. And we just move the runners. I'll take it. Justin Verlander is struggling. A. Eugenio Suarez. Not giving me a pitch that I can hit. Maybe that ball's a little slippery. It is raining pretty heavy. Come on, Suarez. Oh! I sat on the fastball, and he threw a slider. There's the, the fastball that I wanted, but it's going right to Juan Pierre, and that's two down. Yeah, I'm not running on that, even if it was off target. Salvador Perez. Can you get another RBI or two added to this game? No, I pulled the PCI a little bit too low. Two doubles and an RBI in his last game, the game that we won 9-1, I'm pretty sure. That's going to be a missed opportunity, and Juan Pierre will end the inning, most likely. He could still miss it. Nope. 4-0, bottom three. I'll take it, man. We've been dominating. Gene Segura. Okay. Good first pitch from Dontrell. We're going to go cutter. And he's going to send that one to left center. Stanton's got no shot at it, but Trout does. Gene Segura, first hit of the day for the, for the Mets, and it's a leadoff double. I don't like the sound of that. And we've got, who is this? Kurt Casale to the plate now, the catcher. And he's their, is he their nine hitter? I don't even know. He is their eight hitter, okay. Ooh, great cutter by Willis. And now here comes the slider, 0-2. Oh, and the ump doesn't give me the call. And it's a 1-2 count. Curveball coming. Doesn't swing at that either. We'll go change up inside. Doesn't swing at that either. 3-2 count. Willis with the slider. It's grounded to Ozzie Smith. He feels it and gets him out. That's one down. Okay. So we keep the runner at second. Doesn't advance anything. Nico Horner is their ninth hitter. All right. So we've now seen their entire nine-man lineup and that's gonna be a walk not a walk a ball for the cutter one one count oh he went chasing for the curve and couldn't hit it one two and he chased the slider and missed it horner goes down and now we can focus solely on getting the out at first don't have to worry about the second baseman especially because tony Gwynn is up <laughs> and he is one of the best hitters of for contact in all of history and he fouls that one away. We had Tony Gwynn for a couple seasons in New York last year. And he got chased on the curveball. And we get out of three innings with no runs. We lead 4-0 after three. I'll see you guys when something good happens. Oh my word. Giancarlo, don't call me Mike Stanton. A Stantonian home run. Santa Maria. That one is out of here. Wow. Literally nothing's happened this game until just that. Two run dinger from the big Stanton. Let's go. Six nothing. 
All right, we're here at the top of the ninth, and I don't see anything changing in this game. Except for Ozzy Smith maybe getting on base, and he does. All right, finally. Six nothing ball game. Nothing has happened since the, you saw that. Uh, since you saw that John Carlos Stanton home run, it's been a pretty boring game up until that one. I, I didn't even expect it to be a home run. That's why I was like kind of sitting back in the chair, just relaxing a little bit. I didn't expect it to hit a home run like that, especially a no doubter, two run shot. Ooh, should not have. Should not have swung at that. I gotta have better discipline than that. Come on, juice. Oh, here we go. Oh, I was early. I was early on that one. And I know it. And I know it. Oh, here we go. He's giving to me again. There we go. That's better timing. Uh, I mean, it was better timing, but... I don't know why Ozzy didn't go. I guess they still got the double play anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, no, they didn't. They didn't get the double play. What? But what? I have no idea what happened there, but they missed a double play, I guess? I'm not sure why they missed the double play, but they did. I really want to hit a home run with David Ortiz. I really, really do. I'm not going to hit a home run if you're giving me pitches like that. Come on, man. Give me some pitches that I can smoke. Or give me that. That works, too. Should I send Ozzy Smith? No, I'm not going to send Ozzy Smith. Although, no, I would have been out. <laughs> if it would have been a little bit less accurate, I probably would have sent him. Here's some real power at the plate. Oh, that's some real power. And it gets down. Another RBI. Juan Pierre probably could have caught that. I'm going to give Dontre Willis the ball for the bottom of the ninth, but I'm going to put somebody in the bullpen just in case. I'm going to give him the opportunity for the, uh, the complete game shutout, but if things go out of line, I'll have somebody in the bullpen. I probably should have somebody in there already. Let's put in, let's put Brian Wilson in, just in case, just in case things go south for Dontrell. I've got full confidence in him that he can finish out the bottom of the ninth, but you never know. And Albert Pujols sends that one to center field. I'm sending Griffey to three. I don't think Juan's got the arm. He did kind of have the arm, but not, not enough speed. And the machine, I think, is four for four. Is Albert Pujols four for four? I don't even know. He might be. It's a good shot. Or three for four at the most. Stan's three for four with a home run, two singles. Is that another one? Did I just send another one? Oh, okay. At the warning track. It almost was another one. All right, we got one, two, and three up in the bottom of the ninth. Let's see if Dontrell can do it. I'm giving him a shot, and this is not a good start. <laughs> Especially to have a guy as fast as Tony Gwynn on the on the bases. Okay. This is why we have Brian Wilson ready to go. But I'm not losing confidence in Dontrell. Not losing confidence and still not losing confidence in Dontrell unless they send Tony. They're sending Tony! Does Giancarlo have the arm? He did, but it was just, just a little bit late. All right, it's time. The the clo or the shutout's over. Brian Wilson, time to come in and finish this game. The beard. Dontrell did amazing. Eight and a third. Actually, he didn't even get a third. Eight innings of, of shutout baseball. I mean, that's pretty, pretty good, especially against a lineup as good as this Mets lineup is. Pretty good game for... Don Willis. Hopefully that lowered his ERA. That's what we were going for. One down, but they got a speed demon on third base. So any ball that is in the infield, most likely they're going to send him home. I wouldn't even be surprised if they did a hit and run steal home. That's what I would do. And that's going to be Canerco. Does Griffey have the arm for it? Especially on a 96. Let's see. 
Here it is. Oh, Griffey. Oh! That's how you end a game, ladies and gentlemen. The kids still got it. Mwah. Absolute rocket from right field to home play. It was completely on target. There was no need for Salvador Perez to move at all. And we end the game 7-1. to one. Unbelievable game. This was a good one. Dontrell Willis is the player of the game. Understandable. Only let one run go by. Eight innings of shutout baseball. That's pretty good. Stanton had three for five with a home run. Griffey had a double. Four for five for Poole. So he wasn't perfect, but he was four for five. All right. All in all, it was a good performance. And we finally get a win on camera. It's about time, ladies and gentlemen. It is about freaking time. All right. I'll see you guys back at the calendar. All right. So we are going to simulate the rest of the month of, of June in this episode. Hunter Green sprained his neck. That's not good. Oh, we're on a little bit of a losing streak here. Okay. So, okay. Not the greatest end of the month there. Pedro Martinez is up. All-star voting. We still got Jackie Robinson in there. We'll check that in the next episode. Let's finish the month. Hopefully on a high. Uh, no, the end of the double, uh, double A second, first half. Oh, okay. We won two games against the, the Rays, and then we won the first game against the Pirates. Next game is going to be the all-star break and stuff, so we will simulate closer to that i won't simulate all the way to it diego castillo joe adele okay we're getting some good wins we now sit nine games above the reds which is awesome we are on a nice little winning streak here jackie robinson still in the running for starting second base at the all-star break i'll simulate to the game against the twins there we beat the pirates so in the next episode, we'll simulate the rest of this week and then we'll play the home run derby. We'll play the, uh, we'll check and see if we have anybody in the futures game. I don't think we are going to have anybody in the futures game, but we'll check. We'll play the home run derby. We'll play the all-star game. That'll be the video for next, uh, next episode. And then we'll also do trade deadline stuff in that video too. So it's going to be a jam packed episode in the next one. You guys don't want to miss it, but that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the juice club, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.